Hello everybody, welcome back to the great state of Tennessee. Um, so it turns out, <laughs> designer toilet paper, that's what it is. <laughs> we couldn't figure out what it was that uh, Mr. Adrian was making down here and he finally filled us in. That's uh, going to some fancy boutique for uh, fancy farmers there. <laughs> He's got a whole slogan and everything, it's pretty good, I like it. So. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of some of it. Look at this guy. We left him for one day. And look at what he did. That's that's why you hire the best guys right there. That is top-notch kind of stuff. 72% on that one. We are going to come back and sell that just because we're shortly going to run out of production space there. We don't want that. Uh, we had the same problem with our ketchup. We hadn't planned on selling any this morning, but we got down here and all 10 spots were taken up. Uh, granted, the last one was not full. You can see one pallet up on top there that's kind of empty but we figured we'd take it with us anyways so let's go sell it we're gonna go sell this make a little bit of money we're going to uh, come back we will sell the fancy fancy toilet paper over there fancy spancy and uh, yeah see what kind of money we got other than that there's not a whole lot going on today um, you know, as I said the fields are done um, oh, we're going to do some mowing. That's right. Yeah, we did have, uh, I found a little, <laughs> kind of embarrassed. Um, I found a whole little, uh, I don't want to say pasture, but a, a nice little baby grass field, a uh, small field that we own right beside field number nine that we planted with grass. And uh, it's just, yeah, I, it's just there. I don't, I don't know how I never saw it. It's on the other side of a house that we own. Uh, we're renting out. And, yeah, nice little grass field. It's ready to mow. The grass is, uh, looks pretty decent. So we're going to take the mower up there. We're going to get that done. Uh, I'm thinking we will turn that into hay. I'm also thinking I missed the entrance to this place. Maybe. Nope, right there. All right. So let's go in here. These guys are expecting a whole load of ketchup somewhere. Kokomo Green Company. That's where we're going. Wonder where we would take it. And we'll just drive around until we find it. This will be our installment of the parking lot simulator. Hey, there's a train. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know there were trains on this map. Alright, so it's nothing in this corner. Hmm. Oh, sell point. Excuse us, sorry. Excuse us, we're from out of town. There's a lot going on back here at old Kokomo. Oh, I bet that's it in there. Yeah, I bet they want me to go in there and unload these pallets. It's gotta be it, right? And this will be your fill point. Okay. Alright. So I don't think they want this, uh, all this ketchup in there. Let's figure out where they want it. And maybe they got a guy with a forklift and come out here and unload it. You've seen me unload things. Goodness, that's terrible. That's awful. Um, Gotta be a door around there. There's a door right there. Alright, let me go in here and see if I can find somebody to offload our ketchup, write us out a check. And I'll be right back. All right, let's go sell some of this fancy uh, designer. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> we got, look at all the money we got. Oh my goodness. We made over $70,000 over of that. Uh, 10 pallets at about $7,000 a pallet. And pretty good, pretty good deal. Uh, we're on our way now to Central Green to take those guys a load of TP here. Got the fancy Christmas colors on the top. I like that. Just in case you're in the mood, you know. And let's see. I know there's a bunch of turns. It's really close to us, but there's no direct road straight over here. So we got to go back and forth a little bit. But that's it right there. So, all right. These, we're just going to do these the old-fashioned way. We're going to unload these on the ground and drag them up on the ramp by hand. Uh, just like we did last time and ruined everything. Perhaps we can get a little closer this time. 
we'll leave them down here. Uh, good thing about toilet paper is that it doesn't weigh very much. So we put those right there. Should be able to grab this and just drag it up the ramp. And lift it up. <laughs> and Andrew, just so you know, I did try to sell them on the back of the truck. It, is, it doesn't just doesn't recognize them, I guess, because the auto load feature. It does not uh, doesn't know that anything's back there. But look at that, twelve thousand, almost thirteen thousand dollars for a uh, a pallet. What what happened to the price on that one? I hope that was the one that wasn't full. I hope this one goes back up to almost thirteen thousand dollars. Yeah, that's much better. So we are just raking in some dough here. We've passed the hundred thousand mark, so I will take that and pay the bank with it. Um, we are down to nine hundred thousand is what we owe the bank, so this will get us down to eight hundred after this, and we'll still have just a little bit of change to to play around with after that. So I'm gonna try to get this bank loan paid off because I really want to just keep buying land and. Uh, it's probably not a good idea, especially until we get through our first harvest, because I don't know how much I'll be able to do. Uh, John and myself probably have a lot of work coming up when harvest hits, so I don't want to overextend and, you know, be foolish and just buy all these fields just because of my greed. Uh, but at the same time, I want more land, you know. There's two fields up near us, 11 and 12. You know, we already own one through 10, one through 10, yeah. And... 11 and 12 are for sale as well. 11 has corn, 12 has oats. So uh, they're both good looking crops in the field. I'm really thinking about buying those. It's $170,000 for those though. Look at that. That is a pretty good deal. I tell you what, I'm really happy with how that turned out. That was 322 is the best price I've ever seen for tissue. So pretty good. We're not going to ask them where it goes when we lift it up like that. That's uh, some things you just don't need to know, you know. Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, $900,000 is what we owe. Let's repay that down to eight. All right. We still got 95 to boot. How about that? 95. What do we need to buy? We need to buy something, don't we? We got to spend some money. $95,000. We can just leave that in the bank, right? And yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll get something. Who knows? So, all right. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to take this back. I think we're done with the factories. Oh, I know we are. Oh. Well, we got to go check on the other factories. We're done with these two over here. Um, the tomatoes, we had actually already sold those this morning. Didn't do that on camera. Those aren't very much money. It uh, wasn't very exciting, but we had to do it just so the production space was cleared up because the Heinz factory was full, could not take any more tomatoes, so... And we just sold the excess. Like that stop sign? We do what we want around here. Alright, let's see. Yeah, go this way. i tell you what, I really like this map. This is a great little map. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. So let's go check on Mr. Adrian and uh, Adrian. Mr. We just left Mr. Adrian. We're going to go check on Mr. Andrew, different A word, and, and see how much water he has dried out over here. This guy is pretty good at taking wet water and turning it into dry water. So let's see what he's got going. We've already made a pile of money today, so we're not going to touch the salt. Um, just curious. We have to know, right? We got to know. So, salt is, ooh. <laughs> it's really painful to leave this in here. There's 70,000, 70, 70, 70. <laughs> There's $280,000 right there. Ooh. Kind of hard to leave that laying in it. Um, while we're here. We're still almost full on salt. We brought our pigs and finally figured out how to unload those things. My goodness, that took way too much work. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to hit Y and unload them like they were fuel or water or something. All right. So we got some sausages to sell, too. Uh, we'll probably just let those carry on. They're not producing super fast. We'll give them another day, and we'll go sell 10 at a time. So 
there you go that's the factories for the day i think we are good uh, he still has 96 percent water left so yeah we don't have to do much of anything around here not much at all so all right let me get this back up to the shop let me get the mower fired up and let's go find some grass to cut i'll be right back all right got the truck put away nice and tidy just like it's supposed to be we do have some work to do around here i forgot we need to take care of the animals we have to let's see first we can go around and water everybody let's go around and hit our valves it's nice and easy this is my favorite part no you cannot offload bales as well just water okay good to know wow they need a lot of water there it goes All right, let's see, go take care of two sheep and a pig, and we are good to go. Fill that one up. I think everybody's good on food, except those sheep and pigs and cows need straw. I think everybody else is good once we get the water figured out here. It's not too low. Might as well top it off there. Perfect. All right, so everybody's been watered. Let's go find the gator and get some straw. So the gator was making a weird noise. We took it down to um, down to Eric at the shop. Got his mechanic, Mr. Jeremy, to look at it. Jeremy said the problem was there's just too many empty bourbon bottles rolling around in the back. So uh, I told Eric he needs to fire Jeremy because clearly that can't be the case that sounds silly right but um yeah we've kind of lost faith in the gator a little bit we don't want to get stranded on the road and hey, to be honest it's really hot in this thing it's getting towards summertime now and i don't like riding around in it as much as i did during the winter so i don't know where i'm going either so we bought us a truck it's a used truck it's a uh, 2006 2005 or 2006 2500 uh, three quarter ton pickup so Eric has that down at the store for us and we are going to go pick that up and we're going to attempt to bring home the roto beater that we bought uh, our sugar beet equipment is still sitting there after he refurbished it for us so we're going to attempt to bring home one of those in our new truck I don't know if the truck it is a three quarter ton but I don't know if it'll pull that thing or not so we'll have to see how that goes but we'll get it here one way or the other even if we have to run a tractor down and pick them up we do need to get those off his lot get them out of the way and get them up here and put away we're going to be needing them here soon uh, that being said i think it's going to be a little bit before the sugar beets are ready i think i think it'll definitely be into the fall time now we have some wheat that was a terrible backing job but i guess it worked uh, we have some wheat that is getting close to ready to harvest. Uh, we're about halfway there, so it'll be another day or two before we are in the combine and running, but we're starting to get excited. We are looking forward to it. We can feel it coming. It is uh, it's almost harvest time, so fields are looking good. Like I say, all the field work is done. We are on top of it this spring and pretty proud of us as far as that goes, so... Um, See, we decided this straw trigger was way in the middle. Is that right? Yeah, right in the middle. I like to watch it fill up on the ground over there. Alright, so that did not fill up. Let's go get some more just in case. That took it all, and we might as well top them off while we're here. Like I said, everybody's pretty decent on food. I tell you what, since we got the little trailer hooked up, we will get another trailer of straw put in there, and we'll go ahead and get a straw trailer full of silage and put it in there uh, we have some at this little silage maker over here might as well take a trailer load nice and easy and jump it in there <laughs> i think bounces when it hits that ramp doesn't it pretty cool all right run back in here so the grass that we're gonna mow it says the ground is very very wet you can see the little moisture indicator up there so we're gonna turn it into hay i said it might might be a little more challenging with it wet like that so i uh, haven't played around with grass on seasons but i do know that you know there is wet grass there is semi-dry grass there's hay 
Uh, there's, it's not just grass and hay anymore, so uh, we'll figure out what we come up with up there, and I'm sure we'll have to ted it. And I'm hoping that uh, once we do that, it will, in fact, become hay. So, who's to say? All right, got the straw taken care of. Got the dryer going. I gotta turn that thing off. There's nothing in there to dry. So, anxious to get that thing up and running too. We make our own seed. And we're just going to stockpile seed for a year because I got a little overzealous when I bought uh, when I bought seed this year. And we still have, that's cotton seed. We got two of those. This is all wheat. And uh, I think that's sunflowers right there. So, yeah, we got plenty of seed here. I'm sure that's enough to get us through next year. I feel like it will be anyways, probably a couple years if we're being honest. But I suppose that all depends on how many fields we buy this summer, too. Still got 95,000, and it's still burning a hole in my pocket, so. Who knows how long we'll last without buying more fields, but. Anyways. No trigger in here. Just outside? Okay. Alright, we'll do it out here, then. Easy enough. We're easy to please, aren't we? We don't care where we put it. Mm, oh, yeah. Look at that. Nope. I thought it was going to take it all, but it did not. All right. Well, we got the perfect place to store this for now. So I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. It just occurred to me, since we have $95,000 and we don't know what to do with it, um, we will go to the farmer's co-op down there. And we're going to buy some bales. I'm going to buy... I already have silage. How much did I say we have? Let's go look. We have... 8,000 liters. So that's two bales. Two silage bales worth. Um, if we go buy straw bales and hay bales, we can make TMR and get the cows taken care of for, I mean, a relatively moderate expense. I'm sure they're not cheap or free or what have you but I don't know I don't know how we feel about that but either way all right let's get this thing fired up here jump up inside look at that it's like a it's gonna hypnotize you all right that oh it's got a little arm on it it keeps the grate clean ha, so it doesn't clog up with grass seed and such when you're mowing. That's an excellent idea. I bet that's exactly what it is. So the air intake stays clean. I bet that's what that is. Oh, let's raise the deck. I'm dragging the deck out of here. Alright. Let's go find that new field I got. I can't believe we haven't noticed this before either. That's pretty good. I was looking at the map. I was looking for some grass that was mowable. And, uh, you know, it turned grass on to see the growth. And... Like, well, hey, what's that big orange patch over there? And when I clicked on, you know, what you own, it turned green. We already owned it. How about that? So, I had to go find it. And yeah, sure enough, it's a pretty decent sized little pasture up there, so. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I went out the wrong entrance. I always come out of the farm and take a left, but I never come out of this entrance, so. <laughs> Oops. Let's go this way. It'd probably be better. Oh, excuse us. That's your fault. Sorry. Sorry. We're such a little mower height wise. It's really, really wide. This thing is. I can't see. Help me. Help me. All right. <laughs> it's a little, a little too wide for our road here, isn't it? Eh, it'll be all right. I think we can make it. Look at our corn over there. Looking good. Let's check it while we're here. Pull out our fancy dancy multi tool. We have corn 33%. It is 100% fertilized. How about that? Pretty cool. So it is a third groom. It's going to be a while for that. Let's check the wheat while we're here. Might as well. I think wheat is about 50%. Uh, at least on the two fields I checked down by the factories. Yep, this is the same as those. So. You know, with that being said, we planted this in the spring. The two fields that we bought down by the factory, 
16, 17 maybe. We're already planted. They had been planted last winter. So if it all grows at the same rate, this is what I planted in the spring is 50%. That was planted in the winter is 50%. What is the real payoff here? Uh, obviously, you're not going to get an earlier harvest time out of it. I'm going to tear it all up, <laughs> driving through it. So yeah, that, why would you plant it in the winter? I mean, obviously in the real world, you would do it because it's going to come up sooner and you get to harvest it earlier. Uh, but on the game here, it doesn't seem to make much difference. So I had thought about doing some winter planting, but if we're all going to harvest at the same time anyways, what's the point? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. So, let's see, that's field seven. This is field number eight. Right across the bridge is field number nine. We're not going to mow nine just yet. I'm going to let the grass get a little bit taller in there. I hope we don't meet any cars. Perfect. All right, so this is field nine. Let's see, this grass is looking good, and we could cut it if we needed to. But, so we own this right here little rental property but we don't have anybody staying here yet maybe we do we have a squatter well there's no tags on the car yeah i think this is just an old junk car that was laying here the house is vacant so we need to find somebody to put in here get us a little rent money coming in but we own all this look at this it goes right behind here and it opens up over here is that crazy this whole little i mean it's not plowed ground and obviously there's some spots that aren't as good as others. Some spots don't have anything in them. But. Oh, look at that guide wire. I about ran into that. Took my head off. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. So we're, let's go mow this thing, right? We'll turn this into hay all over the place. So, let's see here. We'll turn this on. Drop this down. Kick it on. Let's go make a lap. And nothing's happening. Oh, there it goes. Let's go see. It's not good. Uh, get as close as I can. Remember the guide wires here. I know I'm going to hit that thing because I can't see it. Man, that thing turns invisible. Same thing here. There's another guide wire right there. Close enough, right? Close enough. We're not building a watch. We're just uh, getting as close as we can. So the grass, yeah, look at the grass. It's not quite hay colored, but at the same time, it doesn't look as dark as regular wet grass. So I wonder if our little handy dandy tool tells us what this is. No, it does not. It just says that it's been mowed. Alright. So, there you go. Let me finish doing this. Get this all mowed. Perhaps we'll come back and give it a shot with the tether and see what happens. Do a little experimenting with the grass here, but yeah. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, this is kind of what I was talking about with the different kinds of grasses in Seasons. Uh, just before it turned 10 o'clock, I was just finishing up mowing here. I uh, got back to the farm, decided to mow this half over here after we did nine. So as you can see, I was mowing. This was all just regular grass at 9.59. I made the turn. Clock switched to 10 o'clock. And the grass dried out. Uh, the little ground moisture indicator that was up at the top is gone. So I guess everything got nice and dry from here on out. So this is, I guess, what they call semi-dry grass. It's not technically hay. I think if you picked it up, it would say grass. Uh, but you can see that it's quite a bit drier than this grass. This grass is nice and wet and dark. and So that's pretty cool. That's something we'll have to you know, mess around with, get the hang of exactly the uh, intricacies of it. But yeah, for right now, that's, that's pretty neat, right? So let's see. I think this will be the... Perfect job for the old farm all here if we can get her fired up. 
Oh yeah, look at that. First try. See if we can find us a tether back here to hook up to. And we'll make semi-dry grass more dry than it is. How about that? The brakes are terrible on this thing. I gotta remember that. We're gonna crash for sure. She doesn't want to stop. All right. I'm just curious to see what happens when we hit this over here. Well, this thing folds out pretty big, doesn't it? I didn't realize it was that wide. Never used it before. Uh, drop it. Oh, wait. That is down. So, yeah, okay. Let's just kind of making all of it look the same. That's a pretty good deal. And we're not going to get around back there. I guess we'll just take that, uh, what we pick up from going around the sheep right there. We will just use as grass to feed him right now. So we'll get rid of that. That won't last long. Won't have to worry about that. Tear up our rake going across the gravel, but it'll be okay. We'll make it work. Let's see, what am I going to do here? Kind of, kind of wasn't sure what I was going to do and messed it all up, didn't I? Let's see, I'll take this piece that we missed right there. Oh, look at that. You can use this as a windrower. Did you see that? If you back it up, it pushes everything. Let's try that again. Just for giggles. And the brakes are terrible. This thing doesn't want to stop at all. But yeah, look at that. I can windrow all this. That's amazing. Who knew? Of all the hours I've spent tedding grass in this game. Or if it's just this particular tedder. That's pretty neat, though. Who needs a windrower? Just run our rake backwards. That's all we gotta do. Yeah, we'll leave that. There's no way we'll fit around back there. Let's lift this up. I don't want to push this back. I'm gonna go back and grab it. Look, it's still... I lifted it up and it's still pushing it back. That's kind of weird. Maybe it was too tall. Who knows? Either way, we're making hay. I'm going to assume that's hay. Maybe it has to drive further. I'm not sure. I want to go get a loading wagon and pick it up and see what happens. One more pass here. Let's swing around. This last one over here, it's not a whole big yield out of this field, but eh, at this point we don't need big yields. We don't have quite big enough herds of any particular animal that require vast amounts of food. Alright, so look, we lifted it up and it's still tedding. <laughs> Even when you lifted it, it's still... Hmm. I hit this one little piece right here. That's not what I want to do. Fold it up. Alright, now we'll leave this right here because we have to run it up to field number 9. But before we do that, we just have to satisfy our curiosity. Stop! Oh my goodness, I've been on the brakes a long time. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm going to take this thing down to Eric, see if we can tune it up a little bit. We're going to keep driving it. I'm going to crash into something for sure. And I'll have a legitimate excuse this time. All right, watch. Let's just test it out here. I'm going to hit the brakes right now. Look, it's still going. Still going. I've been on the brake the whole time. That's crazy. She just does not want to stop. Easy peasy. All right, let's see. I hope this, yeah, this little tractor will pull the loading wagon. We've done it before. Gosh, ah, see, like I say, this brakes are awful. They ram into everything, just bounce off everything. It's fine. It pulls this thing a little pretty good, doesn't it? Looks good. All right. Now, we want this to say hay when we pick it up. We don't want it to say grass. Let's see what happens here. Turn it on, and grass, jeez. That's what I was afraid of. All right, let's turn that off. 
I guess maybe we'll leave it there. I wonder if the way it dries now, I wonder if they've made tethers obsolete. Um, perhaps it's just a time requirement now because if you come in here and you go to the weather forecast, if you look at the bottom row drying potential, uh, there's two pluses on today and just one plus for tomorrow, but uh, pretty good winds today should dry it out very nice no precipitation in the forecast until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday probably Thursday um, so yeah I wonder if it's just a, a time thing I wonder if nowadays in order to get hay you just gotta leave it here uh, wind road or not not sure well I'd like to say this all be one big experiment that's why we're doing this right figure it out Turn that back on. If we're going to pick up grass, we're going to pick up this grass that we cannot get otherwise. And we're going to use it to feed our sheep with. Yeah, I'm not getting kind of concerned about that. Not overly concerned. But just curious, I suppose, as to how you make hay. Looks like hay, doesn't it? Maybe it'll be hay tomorrow. Who's to say? My goodness. We're going to have to switch tractors. This is driving me nuts. Oh, didn't make that turn. Oh, didn't make that one. Up on the bank. That's all right. We've got a little bit of grass left. Maybe they'll take it at the other sheep pen. Yeah, still grass. Who knew? And I don't think, like I say, we tried up there. I'm pretty sure even with a pile, you can't point this thing at it. Yeah, it's too far away. It doesn't recognize it. Yep, just says grass 0% growth, so. Alright, live and learn. Let's go get these sheep opened up. We have to come get this wool pallet today at some point. Put it into storage. And maybe maybe we'll just run it down to Adrian. Not sure what we'll do with that yet. But The other sheep bin over there has yet to produce any wool. I'm curious if that's because I let the sheep get below 80% health. Because if you'll remember when we bought these sheep... They fed themselves. They filled the, the grass trough up by themselves. We didn't have to do anything. I thought the same would happen when I bought those and kind of forgot about them. And come back to look and they were down to 70% health and had no food. So uh, we had to get some grass over there pronto. Yeah, I know exactly what to do with the rest of this grass. We'll ferment it. Uh oh We can sit still with our non-brake tractor here. All right. Well, well, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. We have gotten a lot of things done today, haven't we? Still got a lot to do, but we are crossing things off the list and feeling good about ourselves. Are there even any brakes in there? I think this thing is not hooked up or something. Weird. All right, so TMR, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Got a bunch of grass here. Oh, I still got to go rake uh, field number nine, but now I'm kind of kind of wondering if I should just leave it there. Matter of fact, let's go check on it before we leave. We're way faster than the tractor. We'll just run up there. So if this turned to semi-dry grass at 10 o'clock, I wonder if this changed as well. Hmm. Survey says, you know, this little patch of woods right in front of us, we own that as well. We should do some logging. This might be a good wintertime activity. This whole little stand of trees in here is a bunch of trees in there. From the bridge right there to the field. I mean, there's got to be 20, 30 trees in there. You sell those trees for three or four grand a piece. That's, that's money. That is money. Yeah, so we'll get on that. That'll be a good wintertime project. We will cut the grass over there. 
and nope, still, still green over here. Hmm. So maybe I need to come hit this with the tether and then wait. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. Still definitely grass over here though, isn't it? All right. Well, we'll figure something out. Where am I at? Oh, this is the field. 11 and 12. So this is the cornfield. Pretty good size field there. And this is the oat field that we want to buy. That's 11. This is 12. I say they're right here at our other fields. Um, not too much further out of the way. That's a big old oat field. Look at that. I really want this thing. So 170 grand gets you both of these fields. And look at this one. Wow. Goes over the hill and out of sight over here, doesn't it? So this goes all the way to the tree line over there. And all the way down to that tree line. That's a big, big field. $170,000 gets us both of those. And I'm in the trees. <laughs> so we might do that. Man, I really want them. Two more fields, two more big fields too. And I don't know if we got, like I say, I don't want to get overwhelmed here. I want to probably wait, but... We could really use both of these crops. Uh, we could take the oats. Uh, not We don't need the oats so much as the straw. So we would have a whole big field full of straw and the corn right here. So we never have too much corn. Make pig food with. Yeah, something to think about. We're going to buy them. I feel certain we will own them at some point. I just don't know if it will be this season or next season. But either way. I want to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.